Okay, so that's counting them up for I mean general graph. And for general graph, there is also removal lemma. So for a given graph, f and positive epsilon, there exists delta such that every graph with less than delta times n to the number of vertices in f copies of f can be made f free after removing the most epsilon and square edges. <coughs> so just like the triangle removal lemma before, I mean so I mean I will skip the proof of these two lemma, counting lemma and removal lemma. I mean the proof is not so different, not so much different from the triangle removal lemma, but uh, with uh, additional computation. Again, here you can imagine that uh, for every choices of embedding f into this r, I mean for every one homomorphism, you can, I mean, to similarize the triangle removal lemma with uh, a bit more care. So you essentially have to do something similar to the embedding them, what you did in embedding them, but uh, in more precise way. And then you count the, all the, I mean, copies, and then you divide by the multiple, I mean, multiple counting. And for removal lemma, you do the similar way. You apply the regularity lemma, and then you show that uh, essentially there is no homomorphism from F to R, when R is the epsilon some delta reduced graph with a specific appropriate choice of epsilon and delta. And then you can I mean show as before. Then you can prove the removal lemma. And both of them, counting lemma and removal lemma, can be further generalized to hypergraph. There exists hypergraph counting lemma and Removal lemma. And removal lemma, I mean, statement you can imagine in a way that uh, for uh, the R, R graph F, I mean, R uniform hypergraph, I mean, this, then here you get the epsilon n to the R many hyper edges you have to I mean, remove. That's the, roughly the statement of hypergraph removal lemma. But the counting lemma is a bit more, I mean, complicated because here you consider the density between two sets. So this is density between two sets. But uh, for three uniform hypergraph, how do you define this density? Is it density between two sets or density between three sets? And then this is actually more complicated than, I mean, that then it looked. So, I mean, we need to actually define the regularity for hypergraph to state that. But as this is complicated, we will not further, I mean, pursue this direction. So in the next video, I mean, next lecture, we will prove the regularity lemma and then probably that's the last thing that we will do in this course. <coughs>